Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I have a quick video on the Chanel Oak Point purse. I wanted to share my first impression on this. Uh, some of the items that you can end up fitting in here are what you can use it for. And I also wanted to share what it looks like inside of some of the handbags that I have in my collection, just so that way you have a better visual. Because it is small, but it is quite thick. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Let's start off with first impressions. Now I've had this for a little over a week and I've used it once or twice and throughout that time I've really been playing around with it. I was curious to see how many items I can fit inside and ultimately what I would be using this for. And uh, I think that this is a great small leather goods so far. I really like the shape that it has, again, because it's not too big, it's not too small, uh, but it's crazy how much you can fit in here. And again, you guys know me, when it comes to small leather goods or just handbags in general, I'm always trying to figure out, you know, just how much more I can fit in there like push the envelope type of thing and I was surprised to see how much you can fit inside of this little guy uh, because again it is small but it is a little bit on the thicker side uh, and the zipper that this has is very very smooth and to be honest I sat in my room I was completely zoning out and I was just like zipping and unzipping it for a good 15 minutes just kind of in, in a trance. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do. Uh, so I sat there and, <laughs> and I'm just like going back and forth, back and forth. So it's a very, very smooth zipper. I love the caviar leather that this has. It's soft, but yet you still have those beautiful pebbles. Uh, there we go. Now the interior, if you were to use this uh, for, let's say for your lipsticks, um, the only thing that, um, I wanted to throw out there is because it doesn't have the wipeable interior interior that some of the other cosmetic cases have for Chanel, it does have the textile uh, lining, um, it might get a little bit dirtier than those. Like the other ones, you're able to clean them off, no big deal. But this one, it might get, uh, you know, it might be on the fabric there. So that's just a word uh, of caution if you were to use it that way. But uh, ultimately, man, <laughs> I love this little guy. It's super, super cute. And I like the fact that it has the um, that it has the the leather pull tab. Just because if you were to put this inside of your leather lined handbags, you don't necessarily have to worry that this is going to be poking at that leather, and then it might end up causing it to. Uh, you know, not to not to rip, but to have a puncture or anything like that. The caviar leather is absolutely beautiful. It's very soft, but check out those pebbles. Uh, there's the front side and then there's the back side. Uh, now I also wanted to touch base really quickly on how generous the zipper or the opening is. Uh, because this guy, sometimes when you have a small leather good um, that's this size, when you go to open it up, it's a little bit more restricting. You can't really see everything at a glance, but with this one, check it out. You can open it up quite nicely to be able to see everything that you have in there. Again, just in case you have, uh, if you have hair ties in there, if you have other, you know, bits and bobs, regardless, I really like how generous this is because it does have this little, uh, like not accordion, but this little flap here uh, to open it up. So I thought that was really nice. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. All right, so now I wanted to share what this looks like inside of some of the handbags that I pulled. I have the Chanel Medium Large, the Chanel Mini Rectangular Flap, the Chanel Wallet on Chain, mostly so you guys can see how thick this item is, uh, the Louis Vuitton Pusha Accessoire, and I also had a few of you guys ask me on my unboxing video if I can share what this looks like inside of the Mini Pouchette, just in case. Uh, all right, so let's start off with this one. Here I have the Louis Vuitton Mini Pouchette and the Damien Azur uh, with the Tahitian print. Here they are side by side. Now, personally, I wouldn't end up using this inside of this because I feel that they end up serving the exact same purpose for me anyways as catch-alls, but just so, uh, again, so you have a better visual. It ends up popping in there quite nicely but it does not end up zipping. I mean, you could definitely push this down if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it, but just so you guys can see, you can't really, <laughs> it's a little, it's just a tad, a tad too tall to be able to close it up completely. There we go. So again, for me, I feel that these um, are the exact, I would use them the exact same way. So I feel that they end up canceling each other out. All right, uh, next I have the Louis Vuitton Pusha Accessoire. Here they are side by side. And in here, this is what I was using it with. It ended up fitting perfectly. Check it out. So this one, I still have quite a bit of space to be able to put um, a compact wallet, my sunglasses, my phone, and then a few, uh, if I wanted to put my clay or even my car key in here, no problem. So there we go. And I'm able to obviously close this up, no problem. And it doesn't have lumps and bumps hanging out all over the place. 
All right, so it fits in there nicely. And mostly I ended up pulling smaller handbags because of course this will end up fitting uh, perfectly inside of larger bags. Uh, all right, so again, I wanted to bring out the wallet on chain from Chanel so you guys can see how thick this item is. And this is what I'm talking about. Here they are side by side. It's about the same thickness as the wallet on chain is. Check it out. So just in case you wanted to use this as, um, you know, if you wanted to put this inside of your wallet on chain, just so you have an idea, it ends up kind of giving you a little bit of a lump and bump on the side as well as on the bottom. And that's how much space it ends up taking up inside of the wallet on chain. I wonder if I'm able to close this up. I'm able to close it up. There we go. It actually does, I mean, it's, well, it's not as bad as I thought it would be because it does have this little wing kind of hanging off uh, a little too much for my own taste. But again, to give you guys a better, uh, a better idea of how it ends up fitting in there. Okay, so there's the wallet on chain. Next, I have the Chanel Mini Rectangular Flap. I know a lot of you were curious to see how it ends up fitting in here. Uh, so here it is side by side. Now inside of this, uh, this is mostly what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Uh, sometimes it takes up a little too much space, uh, but there we go. So in here, again, you use it as, if you were to use it as a catch-all, I have enough space for uh, my phone that I end up putting on the back side or right in the very front, and then my clay and maybe a lipstick, uh, and a few other bits and bobs, but not too much else, just because, again, of the size um, that this little guy is on its own. So there we go. And the last one is the medium large. So here they are side by side. I thought about doing the jumbo, but I figured this one would be a little bit better just because of its size. Uh, okay, so in here, you definitely have a lot more space for more small leather goods. Uh, plus you also have this guy here and these two slip pockets that you can end up fitting more lipsticks and uh, your more slender small leather goods without a problem. I also wanted to do a really quick side-by-side -side with the Louis Vuitton round coin purse. Uh, so there we go. As you can see, this one's a little bit taller. And when you put them on their side, this one's a whole lot wider. And last but not least, what fits inside of here or what you can use it for. If you were to use this as a little mini wallet, I think it would be perfect. You'd have to fold uh, your bills or your notes a few times. And then of course change would fit in here, no problem. So as a mini wallet, it would be great. I also have a few things that I tend to use in my mini pochette uh, because I will be using this as a catch-all to give you guys again an idea. So first things first is gum. The gum doesn't fit in here. This pack is way too big. If it was smaller, I'd be able to fit it in here, no problem. But uh, I very seldomly have a smaller pack of gum with me. So just to give you a quick glance, it ends up getting caught right on the zipper. So this was a no-go for me. So that'll just end up staying in my mini pochette because I have to carry it. Uh, now, as far as credit cards go, because I also had some of you guys ask, um, yes, you can fit them in here. Um, you can't really get away with using too many credit cards in here only because you have to somewhat put it at an angle or you have to put it in diagonally. And if you were to do that, I feel that it ends up taking a little too much space. You know, if you have maybe one or two, uh, it wouldn't be too big of a, of a deal. But if you had like 10 or 15, then it tends to be a little too restricting on, um, you know, on what else you can end up fitting in there. And then I would end up just using a card holder. Uh, so just to give you an idea of what a credit card or a driver's license would look like inside of here, and I'm still able to zip it up, no problem. There we go. Okay, now this one, to be honest, my favorite thing to carry in here is my lipsticks. You guys know I am a lip addict, like a lip junkie. So I'm able to fit four different lipsticks in here, no problem, <laughs> which is music to my ears. Uh, all right, so I have a Chanel lipstick and I have a MAC lipstick. I have another Chanel lipstick, and this is my Buxom uh, lip gloss. This is a little bit, it's kind of a, it kind of has a funky shape to it, but this also fits in there, no problem. So there we go. You can see them in there, and I have space for maybe my headache medicine, and I'm able to close that up. Check it out, no problem at all. So I have four lipsticks, and then my little uh, container for my headache medicine. Perfect. It zips up. It doesn't get caught or anything like that. It has a little bit of a lump and bump on the backside, but not too, too bad. So there we go. Lipsticks. This thing is perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, okay, and I also wanted to share if you wanted to put like your Christian Dior, if you have a lip pot, um, you can fit these in there no problem. Uh, and let's say that you have a little sample of perfume 
and let's say maybe you have a few other you know perfume samples that you wanted to fit in here these also fit I don't know <laughs> sometimes I just want to carry everything with me all right so I have uh, a total of three little spray perfumes I have another little sample of perfume a lip pot and my headache medicine in here as well and I'm able to zip this up no problem and of course hair ties bobby pins all of those goodies will be able to fit in here uh, with ease which is also perfect just in case i don't want to carry my clay and i wanted to carry something like this i can get away with using my uh, hair clips and a key fob i can fit my key fob in here quite nicely again the headache medicine because i always carry that let's say i want to put a lipstick in here um let's say a little perfume sample let's do three perfume samples just to get a little crazy. Can I fit any more in here? Maybe not, can I? <gasps> One more lipstick? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so a total of, um, you have a lipstick, a key fob, hair clips, three different uh, perfume samples in there. No issues whatsoever. And the other lipsticks, like if you were to use like a Christian Dior lipstick like this, something that's a little bit longer, I thought maybe putting it at an angle would be able to fit in here uh, without an issue, but it's way too, um, it's just a tad too long. So I can't zip it up because I have this little guy kind of popping out. So these guys don't work. It's more like the rounded or the smaller uh, regular lipsticks that end up fitting in here uh, quite easily. Or even these ginormous key fobs if you wanted to throw them in there without a problem. And also I brought out this other lip pot that's a little bit taller. And I'm able to fit that in there as well with my headache medicine, a small size perfume, and I don't think I can fit too much else because of the width. Maybe just my hair, uh, my hair clips. I'm able to fit that in there as well. And again, these are just some ideas of what you can end up using this for, whether you decide to use it as a catch-all like I am or whether you decide to use it as a little mini wallet. I think that this item is fantastic and I am looking forward to using it a lot more and I can't wait to do an in-depth review on this, you know, weeks uh, weeks down the line so that way I can really give you guys as much information as possible. Uh, so that does it for my first impression, what fits inside, what it looks like inside of certain handbags video on the Chanel O coin purse. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And I will see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.